Welcome to another edition of Gossip in the Garden. I'm here with guitarist, vocalist Leo Moran. Yes. And vocalist extraordinaire Davy Carton's here with us. I think he's talking about me. <laughs> and they are from, <laughs> should I say, the infamous or the most famous, uh, one of the most famous <laughs> bands to come out of Ireland, uh, the Saw Doctors. It's great to have you here. It's fantastic. Yeah, he's, it. uh, he's yeah. played there. Uh, he's over on a quick visit uh, to America. Yeah, uh, our first visit in October 1991, uh, we did four or five gigs. Right. So yeah. now we, we've done four on this trip, so we're right. going back to, you know, we're leaving. <laughs> These are going up and down. Yeah, yeah. Tidier. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're getting older as well, you see. So. <laughs> I hear that. These are in the Stone Pony in Jersey last night. We were there last uh, night, yeah. It's very a, famous it's, uh, rock club. Yeah, it's, a, it's got a proper atmosphere. It's a proper rock club, and right. it's a pleasure to play. A band that... Uh, that I think, always was my opinion, was very, very much like Huey Lewis and the News. There you go. Um, you know, uh, one of those bands that you know some people say, oh, you know what, they're just, they're this one hit thing, and next thing they come out with another hit. There you go. And another hit. <laughs> and another Surprised hit. them. And it's, them. And, and, it's, and it's brilliant. You have a, a well, tell us a wee bit how the Saw Doctors started off. If you can do that for, for our viewers. Well, we just fell together because we love songs and we wanted to have original songs because right. there's no, there's not the same satisfaction out of playing somebody else's songs as there is out of playing your own. So right, we had right. a, we had, we had a kind of a, a punk ethic in common and right. we like country music. We just like good songs. Yes, yeah. yeah. We got an awful lot of pleasure out of listening to other people's songs. Right. So we got a lot of pleasure out of writing our own then as well. Yeah. Both of you is right. Uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff for. Yeah, we get help from friends sometimes right, and right. bits and pieces. And yeah, yeah, as everybody does. Uh, yeah. Um, what is uh, you are coming out with a new, a new album? Well, we have we have a new album out since last year called right. "The Further Adventures of Saw Doctors." And is uh, the the track? Why I say that? There's a track on YouTube. Is it uh, "Taking the Train"? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's the first uh, song on that album. Fantastic yeah. song. Yeah. Um, Ah, oh, I, I love it, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would say probably the next hit. <laughs> there you go, you never know. Well, the, I mean, the big thing for us always is when an album comes out, it's kind of finished for the band. It's, it's what matters then is the next album. Right, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So is the album yeah. out, but is it released? It's not released here? Is It's been out over here, but I mean, when it's released nowadays, it, it's, it's kind of international anyway. Because yeah, it's, it's, it's iTunes. It's all virtual. Right, right. right. Um, it's not released properly in the shops here but right, I right. don't think a lot of albums ever will be again yeah I think yeah. you're right be, be, yeah changing. iTunes and all these you yeah. know websites and it's stuff changing and completely yeah absolutely and like us we're doing an interview here on uh, the boys tour bus you yeah. know on you know a Mac you know drinking <laughs> Pepsi yeah there what, can we do? what can we do there what can is. we do yeah. Drink it's Pepsi it, so <laughs> it's Coca-Cola <laughs> closed up a tube <laughs> Well, Tune, for, for who doesn't know where it is, it's in County Galway, where the boys are, were brought up on road, I, I presume. Yeah. And road, uh, by the looks of things, right. Uh, you were, you, uh, well, uh, we'll find out that, that uh, they haven't, they don't seem to have put anything out that uh, were, has been wrong so far. How long, <laughs> how long is the band together now? Uh, we, we supported the Water Boys on a tour around Ireland at the end of 1988. 1988. So we've been doing a few bits and pieces before yeah. that, yeah. probably for a couple of years, but very yeah. on and off, and yeah. just having a bit of fun. Like. So the two of you are, you, you started the band? We'd be original members. Yeah. Original yeah. members yeah. of the, for a long yeah. time. Yeah, we've survived yeah. coup d'etats, yeah. murder attempts, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> suicide attempts. He, <laughs> he attempted suicide on me once. <laughs> and do you steer a lot? We do, we do about 100 gigs a year, it's not an awful lot. I mean. We get a lot of American acts that would do over 200, 250. We don't do like a like a prolonged thing. We do about three weeks at a time, which right. is like kind of right. 
when it keeps your head straight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because on the road, it could get. Yeah, it's. I think it's why a lot of bands break up too. Yeah, it's too much go, on the road. Yeah, it's like go, just, go, go, and yeah. you get sick looking at each other. You never yeah. get a break, and yeah, and you start yeah. losing a, lo a slight yeah. bit of touch of reality. Then as well, you're losing. So it's like yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And what what I love and what I I know your audience loves. It, your songs are you know they're very humorous. They're and, and they're great. They're about everyday life and stuff and. Uh, you know that that's a reflection on I guess both of you. you well, know? it's always the challenge to come up with. It's the stuff that's in front of you that you can't see. That's right. that's what right. makes sense to people if you can just get your right, right goggles on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, you yeah. have the right yeah. goggles on. It's easy. And when yeah. you haven't got them on, it's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Look a wee bit further past the BS. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and go out and have fun. Yeah. Well, there's there's no doubt about it. Um, the the saw doctor's audience, which has been. Uh, said the equivalent of a uh, Grateful Dead uh, audience, almost uh, a cult following. Um, uh, it's going to be great, a great show, I I'm sure, tonight, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I'd, I want to thank them uh, deeply for, you know, being uh, guests on Gossip in the Garden. It's no good for me. And, uh, we wish them the best in, uh, in their future. And go out and buy their, uh, their new CD. It's on iTunes, as you heard. And I just heard uh, one of the tracks on uh on youtube and uh it's a great track go ahead and listen to it and we're going to put their stuff up and uh you know hopefully they'll be going for a long 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 time we've had fun with them uh, throughout the years and thanks a lot boys Mighty a pleasure Mighty thanks Mighty. Thank you. thank you
Welcome to Gossip in the Garden, a weekly webcast from the Black Lamb Bar in Sunnyside in Queens. My name is Maureen Sullivan and every week we're going to bring you the best of Irish cultural and music scene in New York City. And I'm going to talk to you tonight, Dominic Crummy. Crummy! 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 All the it's way. a crummy name, Maureen, it's a crummy name. <laughs> All the way from County Armagh. Up Armagh. And Dominic, you are the lead singer with, tell me again, Clear the Battlefield? Clear the Battlefield, yes, yes. And you also founded a Facebook page called Irish Music Group. Yes, now, I did. You need to tell our viewers what all of this is about. Um, Irish Music Group is a group that I started uh, maybe two months ago. Uh, just trying to bring back some uh, Irish music and Irish culture uh, around America, around the world pretty much. Uh, and it just has taken off in leaps and bounds, uh, Maureen. Uh, really not to my amazement, when I, when I started reading the comments and stuff that uh, people have written uh, about it. it there, there's so much Irish culture in America and in the world. It's 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 amazing. Uh, everybody, there's a little piece of Ireland in everybody. So tell me a bit more about your background, because I know you said you were involved with rock and roll, but you've been in the Irish music scene for a few years now in New York, haven't you? Yeah, 16 years. Yeah, I'm just over the life sentence. So, so, yeah. So you must have seen a lot of different changes happening in the scene. Tell me about what um, you've been involved in. Yeah, I mean, pretty much my whole focus is uh, my belief, uh, you know, and I'm not going political because, uh, you know, this is not a political webcast, but um, my whole focus has been keeping a focus on, you know, Ireland actually becoming one country. You know, so I have the T-shirt to prove it. What does it say? Tell us what it says. It says, Ireland, one government, one flag, one people. Did you see the, the belly? I hope you didn't oh, see the I'm belly there, Mark. And behind it is actually just show, one. Show the audience. It says, one, clear the battlefield. Clear the battlefield. All right, now you have, to, you have to enlighten me here. What's um, the connection between music and what your T-shirt says? Um, what are you trying to achieve here? I have all my life been brought up in the troubles and the troubles and the troubles and I never myself um, clear the battlefield uh, my flute player is uh, Protestant so um, I'm Catholic uh, I don't believe in I, I believe that line can be conquered very very easily through uh, you know through music through talk and through a lot of things I mean and uh, now is the time to I think uh, you know, my, me personally, my my generation, I'm sure would love to see, you know, a united island um, in the right way. You know, everybody has to be happy to, to make that happen. So. And do you think music has an important role to play in, in achieving that? Absolutely. I mean, there's no question about it. I, I believe when you're on, when I am on stage, I'm playing when with Clear the Battlefield in particular, and it also with Raglan Road. And it was with Clear the Battlefield now that I find I have kids of my own and stuff, and you know, nobody wants to go through, you know, they, you want them to be safe all the time. But with music, I found that with Clear the Battlefield, um, there's five in Clear the Battlefield, and when them five minds actually turn into one mind, it's the most amazing feeling you will ever, for me, will ever find in your life. And I think, uh, you know, that is the perfect way. You know what I mean? And music is, uh, and music is a voice for a lot of people that don't have a voice.
I'm confused. 